welcome to another exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. I've got a really good question for you today, Mr. Magazine, that's okay. going to open it up and go a lot of different ways. Okay. Very, very simple. It's almost like the great reveal we have on our live shows. Check them out, 7.30 p.m. Eastern mm -hmm. every Wednesday. Yeah. Why do we fall behind? Yep, yeah, well, so... <laughs> that, well, I think, you can take well, that a lot of different ways. Yeah, so for me, I take on too much because I love the thrill of buying, I guess. So, you know, obviously I buy for enough to have 25 employees. I may have 12 and only seven of them or five of them are listing. So, you know, clearly can't get enough stuff on, but I clearly can't afford to hire 25 people either, especially now with things selling, you know, slowly. Um, but you buy so much and, yeah, you can't get it on. I don't list. I don't have time to list or else I would. Um, but, uh, you know, it's very easy to fall behind. You know, you, you get a good collection in. You go through. You start listing some. Before you know it, another collection comes in. Some other deal comes in. Or, you know, maybe it's not as good, but this is easy. Let me get these on. You know, so in the meantime, you know, I have a sea container with 100,000 magazines in it. A few pods filled up from, you know, collections two, three years ago. Good stuff. Um, or things are just harder to list, more difficult, more time-consuming. Posters and... Um, press books and things like that that my employees may not be as quick to list so we set those aside and like hey I'd rather have you list 100 of these today than 42 of these these may sell better or you can get more on but it's definitely easy to fall behind um, you know in this day and age with uh, buying, buying the way we do at the level we do and, and the reason I, I brought this up we did a video that nobody ever saw because it ended up on a crashed computer it was back in the day with the uh, when we had no air conditioning and the computer crashed it was a wonderful day um, but I had mentioned how a lot of times the collections come in and I probably get 60% of them on. And you basically said I was wrong that I didn't. Um, and what I have found what happens is I probably get 60% of most things on. However, two to three times a year, I get into a collection that is just a, a real behemoth and I might only get 10% of that on. Right. And if all of a sudden you get two to three collections like that a year, and you've been picking up collections like that for seven, eight, 10 years, you just end up being completely overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, again, if I went to the flea market this weekend and I bought 12 items, I probably get 10 to 12 of them on. I mean, most likely, unless I bought some kind of a project. Uh, you know, I go to an estate sale on Thursday, I buy 15 items, I'll get 10 to 12 of them on no problem at all. And I stay on top of that, stay on top of that, stay on top of that. And then all of a sudden somebody calls me with a really big collection or I go to, um, like perfect example is I've got the uh, couple of shows I go to and the one show is middle of May and I buy a fair amount at it. And then the next show is two weeks later. Well, I haven't been able to list a lot of the stuff from the first show and I'm already yeah. at the second show. Right. And if the buying is good, then all of a sudden I'm in there with hundreds of items Oh, yeah. and, and then I'm also going to the flea markets. I'm also going to, and so I'm staying on top of that stuff, Yeah. but I get way behind the big collection. And, and the reason I'm thinking about this is because I'm already making plans for the next one of each of those shows. Right. And you've been tripping over the last six weeks, mm -hmm. the stuff from the one show. Yeah. So I haven't even gotten that stuff listed yet, and it's almost time for the next show from it. Right. So you currently, know. moving forward, you're at 60%, 70% of the smaller collections you get weekly. But the big ones pile up, pile up, pile up. Or you get a good comic collection, you got three lungs, you got 1,000 comics. Well, they're not flying off the shelf. you got a great deal. You put a few on Amazon, a few on eBay, and then they, those linger too. Because why put on five and $1,000 comics when you can put on 20 to $50 magazines? You know, so you know, we're all dealing with that too. It's... You know, there's no right or wrong answer, but you can't get it all on. What do you feel like listing? You know, I love. You know, I always talk to my employees like, well, let's do comics one day and records another day and cards of this day and that. You know, and it never works out that way. You know, so I guess go with what you feel like listing, what you're comfortable with, what you're in the mood to list, and just chip away best you can. And I mean, the right answer, of course, is cut back and buying, mm -hmm. but that's not any fun. And I'll give you the perfect example. Or work 24 hours a day and listing and get it all on. <laughs> there you go. Um, but I've got these couple of shows coming up. I really enjoy going to the shows. Sure. So, you know, and I've actually taken the time off my day job. I've got a hotel room for the one show for, yeah. the, you know, the overnight. I'm going to have a hotel room for the other. 
driving, you know, the one case driving a couple of hours each way, the other case driving six hours each way. If the deals are there, obviously I want to buy the stuff for those deals. Sure. Um, so what am I going to do? Drive six hours, walk around and go, wow, that would have been a really good deal. And go back to my car. Right. I would feel pretty foolish doing that, to be quite honest with you. That yeah. doesn't mean that I don't walk by the mediocre stuff, but certainly have to buy the, the good deals as you see sure. them as well. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, that's that's kind of – we're kind of in the same boat there. Again, and I'm a one-man band, and you've only got seven people where you need 25, and I probably need seven yeah. uh, when you get down to it. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way it happens. I don't think we are in the minority in that case. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have a lot of different ways they're buying. Now, I've cut various ways out where I don't buy that way anymore. Um, yeah. You know, and I really cut back my buying this year, mainly because the estate sales have been terrible. Um, but yeah. I'm also not complaining because it isn't like yeah. I need yeah. anything. So, yeah. like for me, um, you know, sales have been down, especially eBay, 50% since January, which is huge. Again, I don't want to get rid of any employees. We got all good employees right now, they're good listers. So, to save money, I'm cutting back on. Things that I normally wouldn't buy, the twenty to fifty dollar deals, you know, miscellaneous toy collection, smaller stuff like that, you know. Some guy called with airplanes and models, it was like twenty, thirty pieces, you know, where am I going? I got so much stuff, you know, I can save a hundred, two hundred bucks and you know, with with doing that just in one month's time, uh, I kept my my money in my account around the same. So sales went down, but my account didn't go down because I was cutting back on buys, which made me happy. It's like, well, I don't have to stress out, I don't have to start taking low offers just to get money in. Um, no big deals have come across, so, you know, I'm comfortable right now. As bad as things are, as, you know, compared to what they used to be, um, you just hold your own, and in a few months it'll pick back up again. Yep, heading going to be heading on into the Christmas season and all that. <clears throat> so hopefully that helps you a little bit, a little discussion there of why we fall behind, and I'm sure you have similar reasons. Um, if you could hit the like button, that would definitely help us get ahead, yeah. and we will see you next video. Take care, bye-bye.